Welcome to the week that was in manufacturing, where members of TM's editorial team sit down to discuss and dissect some of the more interesting stories coming out of the manufacturing sector this week. We also have an exciting announcement coming up towards the end of today's episode, so make sure you hang around to see that. But joining me first up is TM's deputy editor, Victoria Fitzgerald. Victoria, some really interesting stories coming out this week, as usual. Um, and first up, some positive news about uh, the domestic market, according to the latest uh, market purchasing managers index. Yeah, absolutely. So UK manufacturing experienced a solid domestic market, uh, which helped to offset ongoing weakness in export orders. Um, and that's, yeah, according to the, to the PMI index. So um, economic, also economic activity in the country's industrial sector edged higher to 51.9 in July, and that's up from a 26 month low of 51.4 in June. Yeah, I mean, good news there, although it looks like new export orders, and according to the same report, uh, declined for the fourth straight month in July, uh, with the sterling euro, euro exchange rate once again affecting competitiveness in Eurozone markets. Yeah, that's right. Um, but on a more positive note, manufacturing employment rose for the 27th consecutive month in July. Is good news. Um, and moving on to our next story, this is something that started, I guess, quite negative, but, but turned around into... A, quite a positive story in the end um, about, unfortunately, what is a, a, a very largely unrepresented group of people in our in our sector. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, a U, uh, an advertisement for a US tech company uh, called uh, One Login. So, it featured a young female engineer, and it had some uh, some negative uh, Facebook backlash where uh, people were saying that it wasn't actually didn't actually look like your typical engineer mm -hmm. and with one Facebook user saying I'm curious that people with brains find this quote even plausible if women in particular buy this image of what a female software engineer looks like but of course off the back of this stupid comment uh, was uh, Iris Wagner who was actually featured in the advertisement originally uh, she launched the, hash the hashtag I look like an engineer and off the back of that hundreds of female engineers from all over the globe posted their pictures to say this is what an engineer looks like so I, I, that's just testament to the fact that uh, you know although it's changing slowly the landscape of industry is changing yeah and that's right it's a slow change and it was great to see some of these female engineers posting these stories and posting their pictures on facebook but i think one of the positive things as well was there are a lot of men getting behind it as well mm. and that's so important Absolutely. with this as well so it was great to see um, and again something positive to come out of something that was one, stupid, and two, quite detriment, uh, could be potentially damaging to the industry as well. Absolutely. Um, thank you, Vic. Thank you so much for joining us today. Um, finishing off, we actually have some exciting news from TM's events department. And joining us to tell us about this is events, events coordinator, Nicholas Cox. Nick, thanks for joining us today. No problem. Let's get some background. What can you tell us about the Manufacturing Services Thought Leadership Network? So, this network was designed by the, by the manufacturer in association with Aston Business School. It's designed as a, a, a space that manufacturers can talk about ways that they can incorporate the servitization, servitized business model and grow their business through offering services. And um, we've, we've now organized a conference to run in line with this, an event to run in line with this. Um, and I understand you've got quite a, quite a great lineup of speakers. We have indeed, yes. So the MSTLN has its annual conference, which will be taking place on the 23rd of September in Birmingham. And uh, as you say, we have some fantastic speakers lined up for that event to showcase ways that the, this servitization model can be used by SMEs to, to grow their business, namely MAN Truck and Bus. We have Des and Dennis Evans talking down there about ways that they've used advanced services and the servitization business model to grow MAN truck and bus from a, a 50 million pound turnover business to closer to 700 million with 20, uh, 200 million, beg your pardon, uh, pounds of advanced services in that. So it's a really fantastic exemplar of the ways that manufacturing services can be used to grow your business. Yeah, absolutely. Um, really looking forward to that conference. It sounds like it's going to be a, a fantastic event um, held be, up in I'm Birmingham. Sure. We will have a lot more information about the about this conference and a lot of others that are being held uh, through TM and you can find the links below to find out more information and to register to attend those as well. And don't forget that you can read about all of these stories that we've mentioned today and more as well as features and in-depth articles and insights on themanufacturer.com and to keep up to date with all of the latest news make sure you do follow the manufacturer on Twitter at the manufacturer. Thank you so much for joining us today and we'll see you all again next time.